Hey, what's up, guys? It's Supreme Thunder here, and I am back with Modern Warfare 3 Survival, trying to help you get past Wave 15. And this time, we're going to be doing it on Bakara. Now, assuming this is on the harder difficulty, you're not going to start off with self revive. So that'll be one of the first things to be picking up. As well as that, the guns. I think it's definitely a basic that you need to pick up the guns rather than buying them. I'll probably still add it in most of the other videos, but... Now the spot that I'm going to be doing most of this is in this building here as it's quite good for keeping them out as there's only supposed to be one way in. I say supposed to be because lately I've been having a couple of glitchy moments on this where they keep coming through the floor and the balcony and stuff and behind me. If you haven't seen the video it's on one of it's on my channel but basically there is only supposed to be one way in which is the stairs if you can keep the stairs clear and try and keep any of the c4 guys when they come out down here then you should be completely safe sometimes you may need to come out the building just to take out the stragglers. As I said before, first thing once you've got enough money is to get the self revive. As if you go down, you'll be put down completely. That's what I mean about the C4 guys. You want to keep them down the stairs. You don't want to get too close to the dogs either. You also may see them crowding over to the left of this building. If you look on the map now, they're coming from the left a bit. If they do do that, you may have to just go outside and take them out from there instead of waiting for them. They should eventually get to you, but... So, the next thing would be getting sleight of hand. Would I recommend getting any of the other perks for this? Probably not. Not even extreme conditioning. And that, this is because for this video and this spot, you don't really need to run around as much. Now this is why the C4 guys you want to try and keep them downstairs because they'll get too close. So by about wave 5 you should be able to get an MG. That's what I'm going for anyway. Wave 6 is the first wave of helicopters. I've left the whole wave in just to let you guys see the strategy that I use. Because as well as using this building here, I'm going to be using this part over here. And it's a good place to put your C4s around here. Plus you're undercover from the helicopter, more or less. Unless you come out here.
Right, so all that left now is the helicopter and the jug. Because I think the other guy's on the floor. Now there's a couple of things you could do here. You could run back to the building, which is what I'm going to do. Or you could probably take out the helicopter as long as the jug's not too near to you. This window here is probably the better spot because you can just go back a bit and forward again and take that out. Now that there's only the jug you can run around the whole map because literally it's just the jug. Now tip 4 for this is definitely using claymores. And if you can keep this building safe at all the different spots, then you shouldn't have a problem with like dogs coming in and stuff like that. Normally, I'd put some more at the back of the building as well, but didn't have time there. Wave 11 is the next helicopter and jug round. I do buy a Predator Missile there just because one of the things you can do with the Predator Missile is that you can still get it out and have a look at it to see where the infantry is coming from because even though I used it for that I basically wasted it in the end by I think I might have even got like one kill and that was about it I was going to take down one of the helicopters, not those guys because they're the jug ones, but the helicopter that comes in now. So you can see where the infantry guys are. I'm using the same strategy as I used last time. These are the spots I'd put the claymores at. Now there's only three left, which will be the two jugs and the helicopter. So we take down the helicopter. Now this is why I use MGs because the MGs make short work of the helicopters. Basic tip for jugs, flash them. If you didn't know that already. Now I get a bit close here because I thought I was going to be able to kill him. I think if I would taken one more hit I would have probably gone down there. But I'm not too sure about this but I think the guys that have the right shields have different guns than the just normal jugs and they hit a bit harder. Now I wouldn't say that for sure but every time I seem to go against them they seem to make hard work out of me, well basically trying to kill me a hell of a lot faster than the normal guys also don't chuck grenades because they will definitely chuck them back unless they're flashed I guess And then it's just this guy left. Go buy some more claymores, set them up, and then you're ready for the next round. Plus, always buy body armor if you can.
can even put claymores around here just in case they come from that way. And probably one of the stairs will do. Now, unlike Fallen, I would probably suggest getting a sentry gun this time around. But only if you've got enough money. And that's because you can f uh, put it at the top of the stairs. And as long as you're backing up the sentry gun, you've got better chance of killing everyone off. Now, if you're just going to put it down and then let it try and take everyone out, you'll probably end up having to go and buy a lot of them. Just because they'll just get shot at. And they can also, depending where you place it at the top of the stairs, get it shot at from the balcony side. Because they can see it from across the map and just start shooting at it. Also, always try and move it just to try and keep it safer. And also, I've now got enough to go and get my second MG. Not enough to customise it, but... Also, that wave that was just there was wave 14, so now you're on 15, and 15 hasn't really got much to it, so you're all safe to get the wave 15 and part of the unstoppable title for here. But I've left in wave 16 because this is the next wave of helicopters and jugs and everything. So I'll leave this in for you guys. That's one of the reasons why you want to try and back up your sentry gun. Because now literally two guys have just taken it down almost going the wrong way there but you can still put your claymores down and a 360 Helicopter kill. But that all that should be left are three jugs and two normal guys. Actually, it's not three jugs, there's only two jugs. My apologies there. So, remember that wave 16 only has two jugs, the same as wave 11 or 9. But like before, there's no helicopter. That will be the main thing to take out in the rounds to start with. That way you haven't got anything trying to attack you from the air. Which means you can run around the rest of the map more safely. Because 
overall this map hasn't got a lot of hiding spaces without the jugs trying to get at you see the spot that I use you could probably use in the other two buildings around this place you could use the one at the top right of the top of the map but it's got two stairways to it so that wouldn't be that good because you've got two entrances that you'll have to keep looking at also the next wave after that wave that the helicopters and jugs come is 19 so if you make it this far make sure to have everything all supplied for when you get here and make sure not to jump on the face of a jug as soon as you jump out the window like before you can stick your claymores down silly doggy and this is basically where I go down hey thanks for watching guys I hope this has helped you get past wave 15 I'm not too sure what the next map will be if you've got one that you want me to do put it in the comments and I'll see what I can do um, and that's basically it thanks for watching I've been Supreme Thunder and make sure to stay tuned for the next one. Peace out.